हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ परपेंडिकुलर लाइन लेट अस सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट कंप्लीट द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइन ए बी ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम लॉन्ग एंड परपेंडिकुलर टू लाइन सी डी एट पॉइंट बी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज सी डैश एंड डी डैश दिस इज ए पॉइंट एंड दिस इज सी डी इन फ्रंट व्यू वी आर हैविंग ओनली टू पॉइंट एंड इन टॉप व्यू वी आर हैविंग थ्री पॉइंट ए सी एंड डी लेट एस स्टार्ट टू फाइंड फर्स्ट द ट्रू लेंथ ऑफ लाइन सी डी इन ऑर्डर टू गेट ट्रू लेंथ वी शुड मार्क वन पैरल लाइन टू सी डी दैट इज वॉट एक्स वन वाई वन आई विल मार्क दिस एज एक्स वन वाई वन this is already x y okay let us take a projection of this c point perpendicular to x1 y1 and here also d point perpendicular to x1 y1 you should mark perpendicular sign these are the forward projections okay here also you can take a projection these are the projection as you already know uh, we should uh, mark always distance from first to third so let us take a distance of uh, point c that is a point c dash from x y on this particular projector of a c now this is a d point okay that is a d dash and uh, i will mark on a d projector so these are the c double dash point and d double dash point join these two point with a straight and dark line now i can take a projection of point a but i cannot transfer distance from first to third why because i don't know the point a location in a front view so for that particular point it is in a problem statement it is mentioned line ab is a 25 mm long it means that that given the shortest distance so we have to find the point view of this line cd okay somewhere here you will find point b and i will take a point view of this line so to get a point view of this line we should mark perpendicular line that is a perpendicular x to y to to given line i will extend it mark the perpendicular observe it carefully this is a perpendicular line so this is x2 and this is the y2 this is the perpendicular line so this is view number 4 so i will take a distance from second we can take this distances okay so this is a projector of a c so this point will be of c triple dash you can say again this is the d triple dash again you can say this of a b triple dash but exactly we don't know what is the location of b as well and a as well so this distance consider as a locus and i will mark here for a point that is a, a triple dash let us take this distance and i will mark here somewhere here but this is a locus actually of a triple dash a triple dash locus the distance between a and b is a 25 mm so in a compass you have to take a 25 mm distance 
we can mark it from this particular c triple dash and this point is nothing but a triple dash point okay so this is the shortest distance you can see now you have to take in a reverse direction now you have to take in a reverse direction so again which is a perpendicular to x to y2 observe things very carefully the intersector intersection of this particular point a and this a double dash will give a double dash point here you have to mark a perpendicular to cd why because here cd shows the true length so this is a perpendicular point this is our b double dash point okay now here you can take a perpendicular projection to x1 y1 now we are reversing the theory we are taking this for the top view of a b point i join it a and b okay now we have to take a projection in a front view for a b point take it so this will be the b dash point now as we are we don't know the location of a dash in a front view so we have to transfer the distances from third to first already we are having a projector of a we can take a projection here again this is a perpendicular to x y you can take the distance this distance you can take it and you can mark here so this point is a a dash point and now you can join it and with the help of this we can complete the projection means this shortest distance we are carried we are carried b point here also we can carry b point b point and then we have taken distance from third to first to get uh, a dash point on a projector i hope you understood thank you